I bought a $50 mystery Walmart return palette and I have no idea what's in it, but I'm going to show you guys and you can tell me whether I did a good thing or a terrible, terrible thing. I had to make two trips. This all didn't fit in one trip and my husband thankfully helped me empty this out when we got home. There was so much. This took about 10 minutes to, just to unload all of these boxes into my garage. This was bought as is, no returns, so whatever I get is mine and I have to deal with it, whatever it is. Okay, so we got everything out of the vehicle. It's all in the garage. I'm gonna open this mystery box to see what it is and see what I can decipher. Oh no, what did I buy here? <laughs> like the fact that it comes with a chewy box in here <laughs> and a Ziploc bag of parts. Oh, what is this? Please have directions in here somewhere. Super interesting, it has two of these black pieces with a little pole. They're super heavy. No idea what this is yet. I'm trying to figure out like, if there's anything in here and it's like filled with like trash, like boxes and like that. That's a pizza box. Are you, is it used? Yes. Oh my God. And massively. <laughs> we have a return package that's not in section. One more look at the box, and I looked this up, and Premier Gallery 24 by 48 is a canvas. So this is not the right box. Four of these. Looks like clamps, right? Um, maybe I can Google lens these. So I did this just to get some news out of me, and then there's this pole. I, I think I might have an idea. I might have an idea. So this is like a periscoping rod and then I put these clamps here. Let me know what you think. Is it a photo backdrop? Like, it's weird because these poles, I guess it's just missing its cap, but it's not like super strong. There's actually little holes at the base to screw these in and make them way sturdier. I've used these clamps. There's two more clamps here, but I would say if you are a photographer, that this this would be a really cool backstop thing. I think I might sell it just like this as a photo backdrop for 25 bucks. So the next thing, these. It looks like a couch, but who really knows? Come with me as we find out. I thought I was missing a piece to the couch. Like it was a like maybe another arm to it. And I was like, darn it, this was a sectional. I really, this isn't what I thought it was because I bought this on a pallet, right? Wrong. Look at what it is. So I just haphazardly threw this couch in here. It's huge. I had to go back and pick it up from the store, but I noticed there was like this Velcro on the bottom of the base. And like, I thought I was missing another piece to the, it's just the, I mean, let me pull it out and show you. It's, slides on the end here it's the arms to the couch so the couch alone for $50 in my son's room is amazing I'm gonna get it all set up and show you what it looks like in your bedroom there's a whole couch in my room <laughs> it is be honest did you expect that black thing from the palette to look this awesome back at this palette and I am gonna open up another box today's victim is South Shore furniture, slightly open, slightly damaged box, but it does say it's a headboard with storage, full queen size. Let's hope it's all there. I have my doubts. The top is just a little messed up, but hopefully it's just damaged a little bit. Got it open. It looks good. I'm gonna put it together. Instructions make it all so much easier. I don't see any hardware, so it's a little concerning. Hopefully it's in like this like cardboard pack. Cutting all this cellophane off there. This is all just cardboard, but we have like a black headboard. And this could be our hardware. Yay! These are fantastic. It says we need uh, the instructions. Two people. F that. Just me. And no drill. Just good. Uh, towel. Okay, we'll figure it out. And some music. <laughs> Dang right. I'll have you know, the instructions said that this would take about 35 minutes and your girl finished it 
in around an hour and 30 minutes. So I have been exceeding expectations since day one. After finishing this one up, I don't know if I was that impressed. So let me know, is this trash or is this treasure? I'm leaning towards meh. For some reason, I don't have audio on this clip, but uh, I'm pointing at something that looks to be a piece of gym equipment. But do we have all the pieces? That's the real question. It did come with a hardware kit, which is great, but it, you can see it's missing the bolts and the Allen wrench, but some of the bolts are around, so I have to see if they're in the kit somewhere. Hopefully we have these. Those look hard to find, and these. We have directions. Most of these things do not come with directions. Now you can look up manuals online, but it's just always easier like when you have it in your hand. It's just, trust me, it is. This is where I'm feeling super optimistic because all the parts are there. I start building and I literally need one of the pins that just does not come with it. Had an old chip box, so I just put everything in it. Just put it all in there. Uh, and uh, I'll come back to it later if I find the hardware online. The question is, do I sell it as is for like 25 bucks and somebody else can go get the hardware? Or do I try and get the hardware and sell it for like 75? My friend is here to help me tonight and she's putting together one thing and I'm putting together the other thing and we're gonna show you what we got. All right, lucky winners. We look like we have a sofa table here, if it's what it says it is. And this may be the saddest box I've ever seen, but it, it, it says there's a bed in here. I brought the two items inside and quickly realized that we forgot to do something very important. <laughs> also, word to the wise, don't forget to surround yourself with really good friends. They totally work for free. This one's looking good. It seems like we have the instructions and everything's still like wrapped. This one has layers of tape, so we are doubtful. I knew this thing was dead in the water the moment I opened it up, the moment I saw it. Yeah, so this one's a bust. No hardware. I'm just gonna wrap it up and figure out what to do with it. Alfie. Count how many times you see a dog come into the frame. Go ahead, try. Now you can't unsee it. He helped us the entire time. But we did it, and all the pieces were there, and she looks fabulous. I think we have a winner here. What do you think? 50 bucks on Facebook Marketplace? I mean, look at this decorating. I don't want to brag about my interior decorating style, but uh, <laughs> that was good. I also got that vase at the bins, so uh, you're welcome. Or is it vase? It's the final video. Okay, here's the box that everybody saw the sticker on. And I looked up this dresser. It's awesome. It'd be perfect in my house. We only have one box. So what this means is that we don't have half of this, but what I'm hoping is I at least get the feet because if I get the feet, I can add it to a vintage dresser. Fingers crossed. I want your feet. I'm really just hoping for some feet in here. So we have instructions, that's good. But just as I suspected, this is for, this kit holds all the hardware, which is awesome. And it holds all of the drawer sets, but none of the larger panels. Here's all the drawer fronts and the bases. This would have been a really, I don't think I'm gonna make this right now. It's freezing here, you know, seasonal depression's kicking in pretty hard. Uh, but I am gonna save it for like a spring project. A bunk bed set. Now you might be thinking, oh, three boxes. That's about right for a bunk bed set. This is box two of three. And this other one is box two of two. What? Two out of two, two out of three. Something ain't right. It says this is the, it says this is the twin bed and the slide. Twin bed's pretty cool, right? We'll figure it out. Kind of wished it was the steps. I got all the way through step one, and then I realized I didn't have the parts for step two. So it just says make a bed, and we don't have half of these parts. So 
We don't have the parts for that bed. I don't know what parts we do have, because, I mean, half of these are to make the slide, I think. But then we're missing the slats, and then we have extra side panels. I thought maybe box two would bunk bed, you know, set with shelf. But it's gray. Thing's a beast. I think I'm just going to put them on Facebook Marketplace as is whatever's in them. 25 bucks, come pick it up. Um, you might be able to make like something out of it if you're crafty. And last, what's in that box? So we had two bunk beds, sets, two different boxes, and then one box there. Oh my God. I've been thinking this was packed with the three. This is that same South Shore brand that we had with the headboard. Um, but it says chest, like a lingerie chest. Like, I wonder if this is like an armoire. Let me look it up. This is a $300 dresser, and if it's all there, this definitely makes the palette and me $50. I just checked. We have all of the pieces, all of the hardware, everything to make that chest of drawers, and it's white, which is amazing. Okay, so let's do a full recap. Here's the MSRP value for each one of these items that I got in the palette, with a total MSRP of $1,065. I should be able to get $245 on Facebook Marketplace. I paid $50 for this. Take off the gas and I made $185 profit. And don't forget this guy got a couch. This was my favorite part. What was yours? Guys, I really want to do this again. Please share this with your friends if you thought this was awesome. They have a $600 palette right now. I can't afford it, but if we get to 100 k I'm going to buy it. And I'm going to show you guys everything that's in it. They say it's worth $10,000. Let's see.